All right. Hey, Lavelia. Hey, beautiful people. It's your girl, T. Oh my gosh, y'all. I had some technical difficulties and I think I'm still having them, but I'm gonna go ahead and work through this. I hope that you guys can see okay. Um, oh, it's been a very long time since I've done a live. And if you are a uh, lurker, you're fine. You do not have to chat, <laughs> it's okay. You're welcome here, I always say that. Um, so basically, I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I did not pre-base this page and basically I need to uh, get started or I won't be able to finish this. I'm hoping to finish this during this color and chat, but we'll see. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, this is a page from Chris Reiniak's Morning Scribbles Frogs and Friends Edition. This is a PDF. I have not done a page in this book, so I decided to do a page in this book because it's simple, there's not a lot of details, and it's something that I can possibly get done um, on this live. Uh, but I hope everyone's well. So, just to let you guys know, I am going to be starting off with um, these beautiful markers, these Ohuhu pastel brush tip markers that my beautiful friend gifted me. And so we're gonna start off with these. And I've selected six colors to base this page with. And if you're new to coloring, basing means just putting a first layer of, of uh, maybe marker, watercolor, ink tints, whatever it is you wanna do to use. Um, water-based markers, whatever, um, the first layer, so that you can apply pencils and not have to do all of it, you know, in pencil work. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna start with um, Frost Blue. Um, but like I said, yeah, I just had some te technical difficulties. You guys, I was in the garage cleaning, cleaning it on, on um what was it saturday and i thought <laughs> that this tripod that was in there was a tripod that i had given my oldest because he was going to be doing some videos as well and so he was like no i'm not going to use it so i went off and threw that in the trash in the recycling bin I'm getting ready to do this live and I'm like, where's my tripod? And then it dawned on me, oh my gosh, that wasn't the tripod that I gave to him originally. That was my tripod for my um <laughs> for, for my ring light. <laughs> ah! So you guys, I have my ring light jerry rigged on Christian's guitar stand. And that's really, really uh <laughs> Or real bad. <laughs> so I'm using that for now. I'm going to order a new one this evening once we're done with this live. Because I I don't like um, having to figure things out. So, I was, so I'm a nervous wreck already. Because I haven't done a live in a long time. And, um, and I was like, oh God, what am I going to, what am I going to use? Oh my gosh. So my, my oldest is here. He's going back to college this week weekend he's like mom just put something up there just set it up on top of a box or something I was like oh I want to do that <laughs> you know kind of stressing out about it but we figured it well I figured it out I went in Christian's room and I was like what can I use what can I use and um ended up finding this his, uh, his guitar stand <laughs> it's so horrible so the light is shining directly in my face but I need some bright light in here because um, otherwise you guys will not be able to see anything because it's, this room is dark. So, yeah, Lavelia. Yep, so I threw it away and got to order a new one. Luckily, those are not too expensive, so. All right, so that was blue, uh, frost blue from the Ohuhu pastel set. All right, now I'm going to work on the 
frog and the bee. And I've chosen lemon chiffon for the frog and the bee. I'm going to base this frog in um, this lemon chiffon and I'm going to shade with a green. So, but how's everyone been? It's been such a long time. I haven't really done many coloring chats. I haven't done the last couple of um, Color Your Horde coloring chat lives. I just been so busy you guys um you know there's I got a promotion at work and some transitioning into that new job but we're also I'm also closing out uh another department the department I was originally in so it's been a lot of <laughs> a lot of stress trying to you know close up shop plus start a new position and tr all the training, all the training I have to do, all the training I have to have. <sighs> it's just been so taxing, but you know, I can't complain because that's job security, right? I have to be thankful and grateful for that. So I just, and also on top of it, I started school. I don't know why I went to summer school <laughs> during all this mess, but I also went to summer school and, um, and that class was so crazy. It was crazy. That teacher was crazy. I'll put it like that. <laughs> I was like, is he seriously giving us all this work right now? Like this is a lot of work for one class for a week. I'm talking like three chapters, three quizzes, a paper, discussions, um, doing like scavenger hunt where you have to find videos and share it to your friends, comment on other people's things. I mean, this is all in one week. And then one of the weeks we had all of that three page of three page paper in our midterm plus three quizzes in one. I was like, this guy is crazy. I was like, I'm never again taking a class like this in the summer. But anyways, uh, let's see, we have green shadow up next. And I'm just going to use green shadow on the lily pad down here. Yeah, Lavelia, it's working for now. It's working for now. Thank God. <laughs> now I'm using a viola, viola for the bucket and the little shovel here in the water. So I guess you can tell I kind of wanted this like a pastel themed or pastel colored page. I thought it would be cute. <clears throat> Maybe I'll make the um, the bucket um, handle a different color. I think we'll do that. Maybe I'll make it green. We'll see. But yeah, so I hope life is treating everybody well. This summer has been so hot here. We've had crazy storms with tornado watches. And I'm not <laughs> looking forward to any tornadoes or any bad storms, but I think we're going to get some. All right, next I'm going to use Hollyhock for the tongue. I like that bright pink. And then I'm going to go with a uh, pale cherry pink for this whole critter. So um, I don't want to get streaked, so I'm going to try to work fast here. This is like a peachy color, but I'm going to shade this with some pink. I have a feeling we're going to have some streaks, but that's okay. You guys, I haven't even really colored that much. I've been like diamond painting like crazy. I guess it's because I'm so stressed out. I don't want to think about anything. <laughs> but but uh, putting something down on something, a canvas, whatever. So that's what I've been kind of up to lately. I guess I could just turn on my camera and... Um, 
to do some diamond painting online, you know, uh, a diamond paint and chat. I guess I don't even know what they call it. Paint and chat? Yeah. To do some paint and chats. Thank you, Lavelia. I love the pastel colors too. Just hoping I can get this not to be streaky. I'm gonna start over here. Try to do long strokes kind of overlapping. I'm not by any means a marker uh, professional. <laughs> I, I just go with what I think I should be doing but not necessarily always the best. Yeah, I know with these you have to kind of work fast. You have to work fast. And sometimes you mess up and with markers there is no <laughs> forgiveness. Unless you know how to blend and do all that, and I don't. So it's not something that I know how to do quite yet. So so what are your plans for the summer, Lavelia? You guys going on vacation or anything? All right, so I think we're gonna do the handle in this um, hollyhock pink. I think we'll do that because you guys know I love pink. <laughs> pink, there we go. All right, so I'm, I'm done with the marker, so now I can do some pencil work. And I'm, as you can see um, from the title of the video, I'm using Holbein's, and I decided to just use this 12 set right here and I'm gonna do something special um, these are gently used I have plenty of these and so what I'm going to do for anyone who watches this video and makes a comment in the uh, comment section or in the chat because I'm gonna write down while I'm in chat and make comments I'm actually going to do a giveaway of these, this 12 set of Holbein's, um, only because I have a lot <laughs> and I can share. And so I'd like to do that. So basically you just have to tell me some, some of the colors I used on this, this picture, um, any of the marker based colors, cause I did say the colors. So you can tell me what, at least one of the colors I used on this uh, page, I will enter you into the drawing to win this 12 set of Holbein's. This is for US only. Shipping outside of the US is bananas and I'm not gonna pay that. So this is for US only. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And um, the giveaway will actually end on Saturday, this Saturday, which is the 1st of July at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so let's get coloring. All right, so I'm gonna start with the frog because um, he's cute. And so with this frog, I'm going to be using lettuce green to shade. Oh, just short trips, Lavelia? <laughs> Laundry. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys have that Airbnb, so you gotta do some work on that. So, well, I don't have very many travel plans either, but, you know, kind of like wanting to do some day, day trip things, like to the beach, um, going to Virginia. There's lots of beaches there we can go to, um, but nothing big this summer, really. Maybe go to an amusement park, like do that. Take Christian to do that. Wow, this green is covering up the gray. <laughs> I'm gonna add those little spots back in black. 
But yeah, so I'm just gonna... So the good thing about a lot of Chris Raniac's pages is that he's already provided the shading. So you can go over just where he's added that shading with your pencils. If you wanna do more, you can. Sometimes I do more. Um, but it's, you know, you don't have to because he's already provided a guide in a, you know, with the shading on the page. Yeah, so just some day trips, Lavelia. I'm gonna go to DC um, real soon, actually in a couple weeks or so. Then we're gonna go to Virginia, maybe a week, two after that. <laughs> so gonna squeeze in some amusement park fun. Christian likes going to those amusement parks and getting on those rides. I cannot get on those rides. I cannot do it, y'all. Oh, no, I'm not the person to get on rides. I will hold everybody's bags. I am the bag holder. I am the bag holder. I will I will keep an eye on your child if you want to go get on the ride. Yeah, that's me. That is me. I will sit there and wait for everyone. I'm not getting on it. So I used to get on roller coasters, but it's just not something I want to do anymore. And they've gotten a little bit more extreme, I would say, in my opinion. They are a lot more extreme and I'm just not. And sometimes I don't even want Christian to get on those, those crazy rides. But you know, as long as he's tall enough, he, if he knows he's tall enough, he is asking to get on it. So usually, you know, my, my oldest, if he's with us, will take him. Or my husband, because I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lavelia, like no more roller coasters. I'm holding everybody's stuff. Give me your classes. Give me your cell phones. Give me, give me your money out of your pockets, your hats, whatever. Take it off. You, I'll hold it. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're, you're being a punk. Okay, I'm being, I'm gonna be a punk then because I'm not getting on it. <laughs> Call me whatever you want. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> So, but yeah, so we'll plan to do that. Uh, plan to do that. And hopefully we don't get any hurricanes. But I feel like we're going to get hit. This feels like it's coming, y'all. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. Oh, I like my frog. He's cute. All right. All right, you guys. Let me just tell you guys, whoever's watching, if you're lurking, hi. Hi, lurkers. You're welcome. Um, but you guys, I was in the process of uploading a huge <laughs> Timu diamond painting haul. I need to stay off of that website. <laughs> I need to stay off. So I think I have one more big, huge package coming uh, from Timu of diamond paintings. And I... I'm done. I cannot. No more. Um, my husband is going to be like, what is going on? I mean, he never really says that kind of stuff, but I'm just, I'm saying it for myself. It's like, you got to slow that down. <laughs> it's so addictive. Like you just go on there and it's like, oh my God, it's so cheap. It's like going to the Dollar Tree, you know, it's like going to the Dollar Tree online and it's like, it's very addictive. So if you, if you haven't gone on Timu, you may not want to. 
if you are someone who might become addicted, you may not want to. But if you are someone who does not mind checking out stuff like that and you don't become addicted to cheap shopping, <laughs> then you should check them out. But my haul, so I was gonna, I was in the middle of uploading it and it was like gonna take forever. So I went ahead and stopped it so I could go live. So I was I had a lot of things going on before I decided to go live. Um so but yeah, Timu. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this color was cobalt green. Oh my gosh, Lavellia. Let me tell you, girl. <laughs> you're going to be um you're gonna wanna buy something. It's it's you gotta have, I mean, I know everybody has their own willpower issues and stuff, but this one, I, I have to put the brakes on. So, because I have a lot already now, right? And then I'm just getting more. And I've done, I've done a lot of them. Well, not a lot. I've done a few of them so far. So I don't feel bad because I'm not, I'm just buying and not doing them. So, but yeah, Timu. Woo. So... It's, I have one more package coming. <laughs> I have one more package coming um, with diamond paintings and some stuff for my Nintendo um, DS Lite. So, but yeah, right now I'm using the um, Wisteria on the shovel. Hi, Brittany. <laughs> Everyone has their thing. Uh, so, but I heard that they have some warehouses because I ordered a package and it's going to actually be here like before the 4th of July. And I ordered it and it usually takes about 10 days. So I will, I think they have some warehouses here in, um, some warehouses here in the U.S. Because how are they getting my stuff here that fast? So, um, but yeah, I, I have purchased and I'm, I'm done after this last one because <laughs> I got to get ready for my trip to, <laughs> to Italy. I got to get ready for it. I want to shop over there. So I got to put the brakes on Timu. All right. Well, it's to each their own, Brittany. <laughs> some people will, some people won't. I also purchased stuff from Diamond Art Club. I, I have a lots of their paintings. It's just, you know, just something that I wanted to do. And, you know, we shouldn't, you know, everybody has the right to spend their money they, the way they wish. And so, you know, I'm going to go do that for a minute and then I'll be done when I'm done. But yeah, I don't worry so much with um, those kind of things. A lot of people have their things that they like to buy and, and stuff like that. So that's just something I want to buy. But yeah. But no more team move for me after, after this next one. <laughs> I got to save for my trip. I want to go to art stores in Italy and Rome and see if I can find some good art supplies there. Like I need any art supplies either. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I buy from those, those places too. Um, Brittany, um, Amazon gets a lot of my money. <laughs> Amazon, I think it's a lot of people's money. It's just, it's just so convenient to shop online and then have something at your door within two days. I think that is that is like, I think that's Amazon's 
golden ticket, if you will, is that they can get your stuff to you in two days. Oh, I don't buy coloring books. And then when I'm buying diamond paintings, if I see something that I know is like a Jasmine Beckett Griffith or something like that, I won't get it. Uh, now, it doesn't mean that I'm going to not get something um, by, by accident because I didn't know. And so when I upload my video, I always say, if you guys know this is a stolen art or an artist that you know, copyright issues, let me know. I will never do one of those paintings live or on my channel if I know it's, you know, there's issues with that. So for the most part, if I do a diamond paint in chat, which I might do in the future because I'm doing um, a paint, a paint, a buddy paint. I don't even know how you call it. Lavelle, what do we call that? Is it a buddy paint or painting buddy? Buddy painting. Um, <laughs> we don't even know what to call it. We're doing the same diamond painting. And so I might go on and, and do one of those. Yeah, that's true, uh, Bewitched Cat. If you if you go on Amazon, you're going to be finding some of the same paintings that you see on Timu because I've seen that myself. Um, so there, there are people on Amazon selling stuff as well from China or anywhere else. Um, you know, as long as, you know, one good thing I do like about Timo's, I complained about one of my diamond paintings because it was awful. It was awful. And I just had to take a picture of it. I uploaded the picture. They could see what I was talking about. They instantly gave me my money back. So that's a good thing. They have really good customer service as far as if you if it's something that you can prove, um, they'll give you your money back. Well, not really give you your money back, give you a credit, which is fine with me because I'm not buying super expensive stuff from them. So I don't care if it's a credit or, or what, but. <laughs> yeah. Paint with friends. That sounds great. <laughs> Be witch cat. Paint with friends. Let's call it that, Lavelia. We're painting with our friends. <laughs> All right. So let's get on with the bumblebee. I'm going to color. I'm going to do some shading with Naples yellow. Again, if you want to win these and you're and you are in the States. You just need to comment on one of the base colors I used um, before I, one of the base colors I used, one of the base color markers, one of these. You have to tell me what colors or at least one of the colors I used and, and say, add me to the drawing and I'll do a drawing for someone to win this 12 set. These, these pencils, these 12 pencils, run about what would you say Lavelle? I think I paid like I think I got them on sale for about 35 or 50 35 or 40 I'm not sure but yeah okay Lavelle. but yeah so if you want to win those in your and you are in the U.S. these are Japanese artist grade pencils all the way from Japan. And they're pretty pricey, but <clears throat> I don't need all these pencils. I have I have a whole nother set, full set of these. So, well, I'll share. I was going to share these a while ago, but, and I pulled them out because I was like, I don't want to pull out a big set of pencils. I want to work with a limited palette. So let me uh, go use that small palette there. And this is the... This is the pastel, this is the pastel tone set. So you get 12 pastel colors in this set.
Yeah, Blick, Blick usually has some good deals, Brittany. Um, I've gone on there. I like to go on there when they're having like uh, anniversary sales and stuff like that because you can get some really good deals from their, uh, from them. All right, I think the bee's good. He's cute. I love it. I might add a little cream on the um, frog just to make that color pop a little bit. Just a little. I'm not gonna press hard. Just gonna add a little bit of that cream color. All right, so next I'm going to work on him or her. So I'm going to use rose pink. Rose pink. And I know this is like a peach color, but I really wanted some, like a two-tone type of blend on this. Guys, I feel, it feels awkward. I feel awkward right now. I don't know how, I mean, I feel awkward coloring on screen right now. I just... I guess because I haven't done it in a long time. I haven't even done coloring chats. I'm like, I'm so out of practice. That's what happens when you get in a funk uh, with coloring. Like you just don't feel like doing it or you just want to do it off camera. And then when it's time to do something like this, you just, I just feel out of sync. That's all. <laughs> I guess I need to get up here and do more as time permits. So a lot of times when I come home, I'm exhausted. I'm like, oh my gosh, it takes everything just to, you know, get, make sure there's dinner for the, for my guys. And then sometimes I just want to sit in diamond paint. I think the other night, I didn't even eat dinner. I was that tired. I just wanted to sit and relax. I don't want to do anything. And my poor, my poor little one was like, Mom, you told me, can you, can you, um, <laughs> can you update my games and stuff? I'm like, Christian, Mommy has been doing stuff for people all day today. <laughs> I just want to relax, baby. Please let me relax. Uh, I'll do it in a few minutes, okay? I hated to do that, but I just, I've been tugged, like, I've been pulled so many different ways this past four weeks. I just, I'm to the point where I'm just over it. And I'm so glad that all the changes that we're doing and stuff all roll out on Monday. So, not that it's all over, but all the transitioning and stuff is over on Monday. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of parts <laughs> made over in China that are, you know, used in um, U.S. products. I don't really, that stuff doesn't bother me, you know. It doesn't bother me. Just give me a nice product <laughs> at a decent price. And, and you know, with, with the way that money is not being, like, you spend, like, if you go to the store, you're used to spend, like, you know, a hundred dollars 
on food and you could say, oh yeah, I got quite a bit. Now it's like five things in your cart. <laughs> so I know that it's inflation, but so anytime people can get a, can, you know, get something and get a good deal and still have an enjoyable time, they're going to do it. Timu has made that possible for people who are on a budget or don't want to spend a lot of money on things. They've made it possible for those folks who want to, to take advantage of, you know, those prices and, and the products that they have. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, you're working on Kiki. She's cute. Kiki's cute. Yeah. Yeah, be witch cat. I just um sit here and just kind of zone out and kind of talk but also to the thing with when you're going live is you you want to look at the comments so you don't make people feel like you're not listening or reading <laughs> their chats so but yeah this page is fun i think it's gonna be it's gonna be easy one to fit uh, finish tonight but yeah The cool thing about when you're um, using markers under your pencils, if even if you got a little streaky, sometimes depending on where you're shading at and stuff, you can actually cover that up with the pencils. So um, although I don't like the streaks, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's just fine. And so um, this paper is cardstock paper, if you're wondering. So I printed this out on the cardstock, and I think it's the, gosh, Nina Bright cardstock that you can find at Walmart. And I just bought this, um, this particular book. It's... Chris Raniak's um, Morning Scribbles. He has his own website. You can buy um, downloads. If you're interested, you can buy um, the, the PDF version of his coloring books if you prefer to print them out on your own paper, which I think is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with that, Bewitched Cat. Yeah, that stuff is made a lot. <laughs> that even goes for houses, you know? I mean, the older homes, like the arts and crafts homes, they are made with such quality. Um, those homes can stand, you know, through storms, like terrible storms. Um, they're just made with great craftsmanship. And I always wanted to, you know, have a home like that, but they're pretty expensive to um, to um, to fix up if you're going to get one that needs a lot of work. I would never have anything taken out that was original, like original woodwork and stuff in those homes. Cause it is absolutely gorgeous. You just have to like, you just have to fix it. Like, re what do you call it? Um, re restyle it or... I don't know what I want to say. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Refurbish it. Is that a good word? <laughs> but yeah. Um, but that's a lot. Even even some cars. I feel like some of the new cars, and I know they're using fiber fiberglass and stuff to make the cars lighter so that gas is more, your cars are more fuel efficient. But those, remember the, 
the uh, huge cars from back in the day. I mean, you crash one and it's like, they, you didn't even get a dent. It's like a little scratch, but you had a big accident. So, but with the prices of gas and stuff, I, I know why they're doing all that. But, but yeah, things are made much better back in the day. I agree. Oh no! Lavelle, yeah, you have to jumpstart the car? Oh no. Well, welcome back. Yeah. The woodwork in those arts and crafts homes, I'm like, when people do stuff like that, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Just clean it and polish it real nice. It, I love the richness of it. I kind of fell in love with arts and crafts um, homes when I was in art school. Uh, I was just like, oh my gosh, beautiful. We have some here in um, North Carolina, in Raleigh. There's an area where they have some and they're actually historical homes too. So they're beautiful. Beautiful homes. What do you guys think of this little critter? I don't even know what this is. <laughs> what kind of critter is it? I don't know. We just know that's a frog and that's a bee. All right, I did, I forgot to announce, you guys. I am actually doing this live color and chat for hashtag June Color Your Horde 2023 that I do with my girl, Lavelia from Lavelia's Coloring. She also has a YouTube channel. She is a, an amazing colorist amazing colorist you have to check her out if you have not yet done that she's also an enabler <laughs> she enables <laughs> lots of us colorists <laughs> she's probably gonna say something now <laughs> she's an enabler <laughs> but i love her to death and she, uh, but she has, she's amazing colorist. She doesn't, she doesn't give herself credit for that, but I think she's an amazing colorist. <laughs> um, so go check her out. But yes, we do this, um, we do this hashtag on Instagram. And so every month you, you color, you, you know, the, the whole purpose is get your coloring books out that you've hoarded, <laughs> that you've purchased and color in them, color one page. So if you've colored a page in the book and you never, it's the first page of the book or it's a whip you were working on, you never finished, you can turn in a whip um, or a brand new page that you've started. And once you're done with it, you post it on Instagram and you tag her and myself and you use the hashtag June color your horde 2023 and every month it will change so next month it will be july color your horde 2023 and we do that for the whole year lavelia is so 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 good <laughs> she takes all of those pictures that were submitted and she does a video um a video slide with everyone's beautiful colored images so you have to go check her out <laughs> You're welcome, my friend. <laughs> um, but yes, if you've never done that and you're watching, come and join us. We'd love for you to join the Color Your Horde. It's something that's been going on for a couple of years, and this is the first year I've co-hosted with Lavelia. 
and this is my part of the of this is my job or my duty is to do a color and chat live just to you know kind of support the color um the color along um and i have not been doing my job so i apologize lavelia <laughs> Okay, okay. But yes, so um, I apologize, Lavelia, for that. You know what's been going on over here. And and uh, I, I, I'm trying to do better. <laughs> I'm trying to do better, girl. <laughs> I need to get on Instagram when we're done and, and comment on people's pictures because I have not been doing that. And she's been, like, doing that. So, but she's very understanding and... That's why I really appreciate her and love her. So, that's that. <laughs> Hi, Bo Beanies. I love your name, Bo Beanies. <laughs> Hi, welcome. I'm just coloring this cute little critter, sci-fi critter. Bewitch Cat says this is a sci-fi critter, so we're gonna go with it. Oh, it's turning out so cute. I love, um, I love Chris Raniac's art. It's so fun and it makes you smile. And it's really not that hard to color. Not at all. You can have a lot of fun with, with his pages. So all I'm doing is just adding some shading where I see he's made these little shading air, shaded areas. So that's all. Then I'm going to go, this looks like it's supposed to be a black mark, so I'm going to go and put some black marks back on there. Maybe, we'll see. I don't want to ruin it. Yes! I'm having a lot of fun. With his eyes. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know what I'm gonna do. See, sometimes you miss things. So we're gonna go with green shadow for the eyes here. Ooh, yeah. That looks nice. Yeah, but I like um, I like you know do, using simple or small palettes. It's fun. Even though I do like to have like full <laughs> full sets, you don't really need to have full sets if you don't want to. You can work with small sets. I just think that a lot of us have full set syndrome. I took a, um, I had a, a, an artist come to one of my um, gatherings that I had, um, and, you know, she's a, a commissioned artist, and she was saying, we were talking about colored pencils, because that's her, that's one of her medium that she uses, and she was like, yeah, she goes, and she goes, I know you're a colorist, and she goes, you colors have a lot of color pencils. <laughs> I say yes, and she goes, and you guys buy a lot of those full sets, like 120, 200, you know, sets. She goes, she goes, you don't need all that. <laughs> she goes, the thing is, you have to learn how to mix colors, to layer, to make those colors. And she was like, you know, the best size set to get, if you want to really learn how to use them, is the 36. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, 
She didn't even say 72. She's like 36. I was like, 36? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 36 that's not enough <laughs> but that's just because you know we're used to having those big sets like I've seen those sets uh, I don't know if it's uh what brand it is but there's a lot of sets with like 200 300 pencils I'm like ooh, I don't want to swatch that many pencils in one set I'm not I, I can't <laughs> I'm good with 72 or 120 I don't need anything more than that But again, to each his own, his own, each his own. You know, that's what you like, that's what you like. But I'm just making making a comment about, you know, those big, huge sets of pencils. I'm having a lot of fun here with this page. It's so cute. 520. <laughs> swatch 500 and i'm sorry if i'm swatching 520 pencils it's across many sets i'm sorry lavelia you already know <laughs> that's just too much that makes me nerve that makes me feel overwhelmed already <laughs> that makes me feel overwhelmed i do not want to swatch that i barely swatch what i have and that's why i don't um that's why uh i don't use all of them because i i want to swatch before i use and then they just sit there and so I'm, I do have some videos coming out here soon with me swatching some sets that I haven't swatched yet. So, uh, you know, I can start using those in videos more because I won't use them until I swatch. But it's like, why do you have them if you're not going to use them? So it's time to stop that. Um, next, I'm going to use this mauve just to do a little shading in here. Five hundred and twenty. Ooh. Mm -mm. <laughs> Bo Beanie's like, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> there is no way I'm doing that. Mm -mm. But, you know, people do like to get those big sets. So, you know, that's no nothing bad on them. But for me, no way. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can barely manage what I have. <laughs> Adding 520. No. <laughs> but anyways. All right, I'll put a little bit of this on the tongue. So cute. What a cute little frog and friend. All right, now I have to do the water and I'm gonna probably use some, um... oh man, I didn't do his eyes. This one's eyes. The the um the bumblebee's gonna have purple, purple eyes. Yeah, Lavelia, one hundred and twenty is good for me. Like I had one set, like one hundred and eighty, I think, and I was like. Gosh, a lot of the colors are like similar. They're so close. You can't even tell the difference. That's why I don't like buying those big sets because it's like you're getting, even though you know it's a, a slightly different shade than the next one, it's still too close. I, I want, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want it, but you can have it if you want it. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go with sky blue for the, um, the water. And then I'm going to go try to, 
I'll step away probably for a moment, or maybe I'll do that off screen. I'll do the wings glitterify this up off screen because <clears throat> I'm almost done with it. Almost done here. So Lavelia, I'll probably email um, email you. I'll probably send this to you tonight, so you can add this to the slideshow. I probably have several I need to send you, <laughs> but I'm so bad at. I'm even bad at posting on Instagram. I just don't do it. I don't know why I'm so bad at that. I don't know what it is. But everybody's like colored pictures on there look so nice on Instagram. People really are taking on to coloring and doing an amazing job at it. <laughs> okay, Bo Beanie, do you do you color? Are you a colorist? Do you do you do uh, adult coloring? And if so, what's the what's the largest set you have? Like how many pencils are in that set? So she see she wouldn't she would never have full set syndrome because that's just that's just nuts to her is like no. <laughs> How you been? Okay, so Bo Beanie does color. Okay, she has the 150. I well, 150 prismas is awesome. So um, but yeah, 120 is the max for me, but yeah, one 150 prisma is good, is great. I'm glad you're doing good, Selena. Yeah, I miss you too, girl. I've been slammed. I'm, I'm even shocked I'm even able to do this right now. <laughs> um, and I'll 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 send you some information. Um, I'll I'll send you a text message, let you know what's going on. But yeah, so the. Yeah, nobody really wants to, well, I'm not going to say nobody. There's a lot of people because they're making those sets because people are buying them. <laughs> people are buying them. But, you know, you get to spend your money with on what you want. And that's why it really doesn't really matter what we think. <laughs> but just, you know, for me personally, I would, I'm not going to do it. I just... I just feel overwhelmed even thinking about organizing 520 pencils. <laughs> that overwhelms me. I love these pencils. Gosh, they're nice. Especially on this cardstock. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to actually um, put glitter, probably, um, I'm definitely going to use stickles on the wings and I'm probably going to um, 
add some color into the wings. I'll probably do that on camera. Um, and then I'll probably, because I'm not going to do a background, so I probably won't. I won't wipe the wings out. Um, but I'm going to put some color and then put stickles on top, like the clear stickles, the diamond ones, so that it, you know, it's shiny and sparkly. And I might put some um, um, glitter Mod Podge, the clear on top of the water to make that shimmer as well. Because I want it to be sparkly. Yeah, swatching is relaxing, uh, Betty. I agree, but uh, <laughs> uh, -uh. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. I can't. You guys are. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. I can't. <laughs> I have to do it. I have to do it in like, in like, uh, you know sessions <laughs> session one okay i'll swatch 100 session two i'll swatch another 100 session three five sessions for 500 pencils Woo! Mm -mm. that's just my opinion it doesn't matter <laughs> Whatever you like to do, you do it. <clears throat> Ooh, he's so cute. I love the color palette. I like the pastels. That might, that might be my thing for these pages, sticking with pastels. <laughs> yeah, I actually do like swatching, Betty. I have. I have a swatch books that I actually, um, I actually use a, um, a sketchbook for my swatch book. So I don't use the ones that come pre printed or anything like that. I draw it out myself and I, um, swatch because I want specific kind of paper. Yes, you sure can, Kat. You can you can create colors. It's it's called color mixing. A lot of people don't know how to do it, and it can be difficult. Um, mainly artists <laughs> are the best at doing that because they've learned that. It's a skill that you learn in art school, and by practicing. So if you don't want to practice and you don't want to learn how to color mix and it's too hard, and when you do it, your colors come out muddy then yes, you would buy a set that has all those colors. That way you don't have to do it. It's done for you already. That's the purpose. That's me too, Lavelia. You already know that. I can't even, I have some pencil sets right now that I am not using because I have not swatched them and it's ridiculous. So that's why I'm doing a series on color swatching or swatching um, my pencils so that I can use them. Yes, Betty, so you can. You don't really need to have, um, you know, those large sets. But if you're not somebody who knows how to color mix and you don't want to do it, then you, you have that option of buying bigger sets. Um, me, personally, I'm lazy. I don't want to color mix. <laughs> But I do, I know that I know the um, color wheel and I know how to do it. I just don't want to. I will do it with watercolor sometimes, but I don't want to do that all the time. I just want to color. <laughs> That's called laziness for me. <laughs> yes, paper makes a huge difference. Um, you know, the Amazon paper is decent. You know, you can find methods of coloring in the, on that paper that work and it will turn out fabulous. Um, 
but then, you know, some pencils don't work well on that paper. Um, there are certain pencils I will not use on that paper because it eats them up. Um, I will not use my Faber Castell. I won't use these. I don't really like using Prismacolor on that paper, but I will. Um, just the higher end pencils I do not like using on that paper. Yes, yes. Um, they're very expensive. Um, so, you know, if you don't want to spend the money and you want to learn, that's great because now you can create your own colors and stuff. So, but yeah, I think this buddy is finished. I think he's finished. He or she, whatever, it is finished. <laughs> Trying to think, is there anything else I can do on this? I don't want to do a background. Don't feel like it. So I think right here, a little bit, can be a little smoother. Yeah. So I think off camera, I will actually, I see some areas I could do better. Let me go ahead and work on that. <laughs> um, so again, I, if you're just, if you didn't catch the beginning, I am giving away this uh, 12 set of Holbein's. They're going to be gently used because I don't use these that much. Um, I, this is my second, maybe second time using these. They are sharpened, um, but I'm going to be giving away this set. You must be in the U.S. You must comment on what colors. You have to uh, tell me at least one color I use to base this page. And you need to do that in the comment section um, once the video is up, or you can do it now if you are lurking or... <laughs> chatting even lurkers can can enter <laughs> if you want to wait and do it after i upload after the video is uploaded and the comment section is available you can do it there um you must be in the u.s and the deadline will be saturday at 11 59 p.m eastern standard time i'm giving away the set this is a giveaway Thank you, Lavelia. Thank you, Bobini. Yeah, Betty, I feel you on that. I really stopped um, buying a lot of the budget-friendly pencils. Now, I have been gifted some, and I really appreciate it because I'm going to use them. But as far as me purchasing pencils right now, I find that I can... In all the money I've spent on budget-friendly pencils, and there's nothing wrong with budget-friendly pencils if that's what you want to buy. Just me speaking for myself. If I want, I can buy better pencils if I just take that money and save it, or buy you know open stock a few at a time. Then I can have the pencils I want um, instead of buying all of those budget really pencils and, and again there's nothing wrong if that's what you want to buy I'm just speaking for myself there's a lot of people who love them and I do too because um, I use them again on Amazon paper because I'm not using my good pencils in there um, but also too some people don't want to buy um, artist grade pencils and spend that money because they're just coloring and coloring books artist grade pencils are for artists you know, we are all artists too. However, artists who actually sell their artwork or gift it or are um, commission artists, um, they have to use pencils that have light fast in them, light fastness, because uh, you don't want to sell someone a picture or a, you know, a painting or something and you didn't use light fast, that, pa that page or that picture is going to fade and over time, you don't want your pages, you know, your artwork that you're selling to someone to fade 
drastically over time. And that's really what, what makes those pencils so expensive is because a lot of them have white fastness in it. But if you're not, if that isn't, if you don't care about that, you just want to color, then don't spend the money on them. You know, but me personally, I like better quality pencils because if I do decide in the future to draw and um, give something to someone or sell it, at least I know that I have pencils in my in my um, in my stash that I can do that with. And you don't have to, you know, build those collections up at once. You can do it over time. Just purchasing pencil colors that you like to use. Some people use a lot of greens and browns and neutral tones because they do lots of landscapes. Me, I like bright colors. So I'm. those are the colors that I lean more towards. Well, that's just what I think. You know, again, it's my opinion. You don't have to agree. Um, I'm just stating my opinion. Yes, yes. I like to share. That's one thing I do. Exactly, Bewitch Cat. The, that is so true. That is also correct, Betty G. A lot of companies are selling the same pencil with a different name on it. So you're having duplicate sets, basically. But you won't have that when you buy uh, artist grade pencils, you know? Exactly, exactly. But you know, everyone has to do what they feel is best for that for that for them. You know, so that's why, you know, I don't ever, I don't want to, you know, be negative about someone else's choices because that's their choice. But, you know, for me as well, I know what I like and, and I see what's happening. This was many years ago that there was a brand called Huang, Guang Hui, G-U-A-N-G, I think H-U-I. And when you're online trying to get those pencils, you'd see that, right, under a different name. Okay, they're saying, oh, these are, I'm just going to throw this out because I don't know if it's, I'm just going to give an example. Oh, these are ABC pencils, right? <clears throat> but when, <laughs> when they showed the picture of the pencil, it said Guanghui. <laughs> and this was like, everybody was complaining about that. And this was a, many years ago. And so people were like getting hip to it. I'm like, wait a minute. That means that all these different brands of pencils you think you're buying to have all these different sets, just, you know, to try them all out, are actually the same daggone pencil. <laughs> I said, I'm so glad <laughs> that I only bought that one set and then buy all those sets. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes, we did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yes, people are like, what? <laughs> so now, like, whenever I see a budget-friendly pencil, I always look to see what's printed on the pencil in the picture. Um, I think they're getting hip to that now. <laughs> and so now it won't say the same names. It's going to all say different names, but... It could be the same pencil manufacturer. So I know that when I buy a Caradosh or you know Faber Castell, even the Faber Castell gold gold fobbers, those are really nice too. If you want, if you can't spend a lot of money on a gold um, Faber Castell and you still want to have a nice quality pencil, try their gold fobbers. Those are nice and they're not very expensive. Um, and I think they only come in a set of 48, I think, something like that, 36 or 48. Um, but they have nice, it's a nice pencil, and it is a favorite cast style pencil. Um, but that's just a little tidbit there. But yeah, so I 
I just know that <laughs> I'm not going to get a dupe when I buy a Derwent or something like that. I know that Derwent is not the same as Faber-Castell and so on and so forth. So just be careful if you're going to buy them and compare because I think a lot of colorists also are comparing the pencils to other to other brands to see if they feel like they're the same. So you might want to check that out too, like do some research before you commit to one of those to see if anyone's formed an opinion on, you know, whether it's a duplicate of another set they, they own. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? And let me tell you guys, I am, I love Crayola color pencils. <laughs> I will do a color and chat with those. I've done some in the past. There, if you don't have a lot of money and you just don't want to spend a lot of money on these pencils, you can have a great time coloring with, with Crayolas. I, I do every time. Even the um, Crayola twistable uh, colored pencils are nice. They're very nice pencils. And then Crayola now has their signature line, I think. They're the black ones. And a long time ago, they had another set you could buy. Um, I forget the name. I have that set. But you can't buy this particular set anymore. It was a 72 set, and they're really nice. So if you want to start coloring and you just don't have a lot of money and you want to try it and you want to have a good time, you can certainly have a good time with any color pencil really um but crayons are so nice to use they're really nice to use just finishing up here i see some areas where i could do a little better just want to do that again these are just my opinions <laughs> they may not matter to you <laughs> just throwing it out there <laughs> Because we're going to do what we want to do. <laughs> well, y'all, I think this is about done. I'm just going to do some uh, little things off, off camera. Yes, this froggy friend page is so cute. Now, don't forget, you have until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday to tell me what colors I base this with, or at least one of those colors, and then say, add me to the drawing, um, and I will do that. And I will select a winner and mail these to you, U.S. only. Again, these are lightly, they're, look, there's still look, got a lot more pencil to use. These will last a long time. Yeah, I have the um the Black Widows. That's one I did get. I have the older Sherper Sherper Farbins. I call them S Farbins because I can't say that name. <laughs> I have the older S Farbins, so I'm not sure. I I don't feel like they color the same, but it could be that they've changed them. I don't know. Yes, Derwin Ink Tints. I love them. I love them. <laughs> I love Derwin Ink Tints. I just did a page. I'm not going to show you guys because that's cheating because um, I'm not supposed to show my uh, <laughs> my completed pages until the end of the month. <laughs> but I do mine quarterly anyway. So, And unfortunately, this time I don't have that many pages I have a lot more diamond paintings to show I think than color pages oh you're welcome Betty
Yeah, those are some good ones. Sergeant Art, the premium. Yeah, Supremes. There we go. I, I have not gotten a set of those, but it's okay. I haven't, I don't have the cray art and I don't, do I have magic fly? I don't think I have magic fly. Yeah, there's a lot of brands out there. Lots. <laughs> yeah, I have the Black Widows. I, I like those pencils a lot. And that is one that I will go and get the next new set that they have um, to add to it. Because really, they're separate small sets, <laughs> even though it's all under one umbrella. Um, but, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Bobini, I'm going to be uploading... <laughs> Um, a diamond painting video tonight. <laughs> it's a haul video from Timu. Uh, diamond painting is so fun. I don't, you know, when people say, ah, oh, diamond painting, I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, try it. Just try it. And I guarantee you, you're going to probably like it. Especially if you do stuff like um, people who cross, who cross stitch and stuff like that. It's just, it's basically the same thing. It's just you're using little beads instead of thread. Um, it's so relaxing. Yes, the witch cat. I love it. <laughs> She's going to hunt us down. <laughs> Yes, if you cross-stitched, you, you might like it. I'm wondering if I should show you one that I'm working on. Oh, yeah, it's right here. I'm doing, I'll, I'll show you guys the one that I'm working on right now. It's it's a small one. It's, we call, if you want to try it, though, Bobini, I would, I would say start off with a small one. Don't get a big one because you don't know if you're going to like it. Let me get this one real quick here. So, I'm working on this wolf. This is a 20 by 30 centimeters, but it's, um, let me, let me just try to get this off so you can see it without the glare. Um, so it's a 20 by 30 centimeters as far as this is concerned, this whole thing. So you can probably take off five centimeters from the side and the top. So it's more like a 15 by 25. But um, this is a wolf I'm doing for my son. I started this last night. And in about maybe an hour and a half, I've done all that on and off. Because, of course, I got interrupted. But it's so pretty. It's all blues. Isn't that pretty? Um, I would say like if you if you want to start off you just want to try it you could do like a 20 by 20 or uh, let me show you I have a 20 by 20 size so you can see the difference in size hold on uh. <clears throat> okay sneak peek <laughs> this is one of the ones that's in my haul <laughs> this is a 20 by 20 That's a 20 by 20, so it's really 15 by 15. See how small it is? It's small. You can do a small one to try it, or you can do something like this, and then there's 30 by 30s. Uh, I think I have one. Hold on, I'll show you. <coughs> Guys, we get some sneak peeks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actually, just a second. I got one I've already showed one I've already done that's a 30 by 30 I'll show you yeah here it is come on over there
Here's a 30 by 30. Let me put this back down. Here's a 30 by 30. This one's special drills. And see how sparkly and pretty that is? Ooh. So that's a 30 by 30, and that's the 30 by 30. You can see them kind of side by side. So, you know, and then they have 30 by 40s and they go up bigger than that. So you pretty much just, you know, pick the size, a small size that you think you can handle and then try it. You might like it. <laughs> you might like it. <laughs> oh, I'm not enabling. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes. Be which cat. I like the small ones. They're so fun to do. Because you can get them done fast. And but you know, also too, sometimes the um this is a cover minder. Sometimes they um they don't turn out very nice. <laughs> but you know. Bobini, Bobini, don't don't blame us. <laughs> yes, the colorful ones are easier on the eyes. I really like the colorful ones. Um, and so, but I'm having a lot of fun. This one I'll probably finish tonight. This is for Christian. He is into wolves. This is my baby boy. And he, one day he says, you, um, you diamond paint all those, but you never diamond paint things I like. I'm like, what? <laughs> um, can you diamond paint a wolf for me? And I was like, okay. So I, I found some. And, and anytime I would find a wolf, he was like, oh, I like it. Make that one for me. Make that one. So I have like, ooh, I think I have like four. Five or six. This is the first one I'm doing. I have like five or six I'm doing for him. Yes, you guys go check out Bewitch Cat. She has a channel and she's she's really into diamond painting. <laughs> More so than probably I am. <clears throat> Yes, that's the same thing I said, Bewitch Cat. I was like, why would people want to sit and put one little bead on that? That is ridiculous. But then somebody sent me one and I tried it and I was hooked. I was like, this is so relaxing. And I even like that sound that it makes when you put it on the glue and it goes, tick, tick, tick. I love that sound. <laughs> Yes, go subscribe to her. She's she loves diamond painting and she has lots of beautiful ones. She's the one who's got me um purchasing some of my some of them. I mentioned her in my um <laughs> I mentioned her in my uh in my haul that's gonna be uploaded tonight. Yes. Yay! Oh yeah, if you have this is what I like to do because I like to show love. If you have a channel, I don't care if it's diamond painting, coloring, whatever it is. If you have a channel, go ahead and let us know by putting a heart. Hi, Tracy. Go ahead and put a heart on the screen. And so others who are either watching, lurking, which is fine. I don't mind you lurking. That's great. If you're lurking, you can go check out everyone who has a channel. So I can tell you for sure, I know Lavelia has a channel. Um, Colorful Candy World has a, ch a channel. And Diamond Painting Bewitch Cat has a channel. And if anyone else who I'm not named has a channel, um, go ahead and put a heart so we can know 
who you are and go check your channel out. Go show some love. Oh, congratulations. Go BD Creates. Yay. A brand new channel. Everyone go check out Bo Beanie Creates. Who else? Bewitch Painting. I'm sorry. Diamond Painting Bewitch Cat has a channel. Yay. And I think hers is fairly new too. And I think that she's gotten... Um, a diamond painting company send her some stuff already? What? Go girl. <laughs> yes, go check them out. All right, y'all. I think I'm going to call it quits. Um, again, this is the page. We're not doing diamond painting today. <laughs> this is the page. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this color and chat. As well as what I'm giving away. You know the rules now. If you're interested... Go ahead and do that um, and go check out everyone's channels. Show some love. If you have not yet given a thumbs up for the video and you're watching, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And you're very welcome, Betty. I hope that you guys have a wonderful evening. You're very welcome, my friend, Lavelia. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful evening, a great weekend. Be safe this uh, 4th of July weekend. Make new memories with your loved ones and your family and friends. And with that, y'all have a great night. See you next time. <clears throat> Thank you, Betty. Bye, Tracy. Bye, Bobini.